I'd like you to take note of these two bridges. They both cross the Connecticut River between Walpole, New Hampshire, and Bellows Falls, Vermont. Right beside each other, one is a road bridge and the other is a railroad bridge. The road bridge is called the Vilas Bridge, built in 1930. It was deemed unsafe and nobody's driven across it in a dozen years. The very first bridge over the Connecticut River was built right where the Vilas Bridge is. It was dated to, oh, 1783, I believe. And then that first bridge was replaced by a wooden covered bridge, which was a toll bridge, but people crossing from New Hampshire to Vermont generally did not use it. Uh, they were Yankees. Yankees aren't about to pay for a toll bridge across the river, not when you can do it for free just by driving your horse across the railroad bridge instead. Of course, uh, it was a bone-shaking event to do this and in a wagon, not to mention downright dangerous, but it was free, and as I say, these were Yankees, so people preferred it. But by the turn of the 20th century, the Boston and Maine Railroad had had enough, and they began policing the trestle, and people couldn't use it then. And so in 1904, there were two town meetings, one in Walpole and one in Bellows Falls, they voted money to build a brand new toll-free bridge upstream. Walpole would pay two-thirds of the cost. Bellows Falls, uh, which is technically, by the way, in the town of Rockingham, Bellows Falls would pay one-third, the cost uh, of the cost. But the money they voted was not enough, and so they went to the Boston and Maine and got them to pay some money and provide an engineer to approve of a design, and the result was a glorious 524-foot arched bridge with a suspended wooden roadway bed. And when it was completed in 1905, it was the longest arched bridge in the United States of America. This bridge served the communities until 1971 when it was condemned. Ice flows and rust and time had made it completely unsafe. In 1982, they blew it up. Well, actually, it was a classic snafu. It took five tries to get the bridge down. And by the time they finally collapsed it into the river, there were practically no spectators. Lucy had pulled the football away too many times. Today, this is the replacement. But the arch bridge is still remembered here in Bellows Falls at the Wayport Visitor Center. Here, architect Dan Scully has designed a building with two steel arches. It is an homage to the lovely old bridge that was.